Hey guys, so I saw this uh, person a while ago, and uh, August at Duck has talked about them a couple times. Now this woman here, Alex Serves Tea. Is she serious, or is she one of the greatest trolls? Now, you go through some of her content. She believes that the sun isn't real, that certain cloud formations aren't cloud formations, they're UFOs. Um... If the sun is shining a certain way through the clouds or something must not be real. Uh, there's a hole in the dome. Um, so she, she takes natural occurring things in the sky, albeit a little weird sometimes as they are. I mean, she points out something where, you know, I saw it the other day. Uh, actually, not the other day. Uh, I saw it uh, actually it was a week and a half ago or something. Uh, I was down at the um, post office, and basically it was just like a, a table of clouds, really. You know, there was really no, you know, you looked across, the, saw the horizon, and then rising up was just a straight thing of clouds going across. There's no waves in them, there was no fluff or anything, it was just like a solid, straight thing of clouds. A little weird, but they're clouds, they can form however they want. So she's taking things that are... You know, like I said, a little weird sometimes, but saying that they don't exist, that we're living in a simulation, or that the sky isn't real, the sun isn't real, but she believes that she can telepathically talk to her dog and move things with her mind. So now you can hopefully understand why I'm saying, is she serious, or is she just one of the greatest trolls? So, you have this here, okay. where she's... I like having too much fun. Uh, where she's doing a demonstration of moving the rock with her mind. But one of the biggest red flags is that she has to put it a certain way on her fingers. She's like, oh, because, you know, density, you can't just put it flat down. It needs to be standing up. You want to know why it has to be standing up? Because so that way when she starts moving her hand, it has a better chance of falling forward. Uh, Chris Chan did the same freaking thing. You know, so if people really do have telekinetic powers you think of video games and movies and do people in movies and video games and all that stuff need stuff to uh, other uh, objects to be positioned a certain way to move them no you know if if you're in a video game and the, the character has telekinetic powers and they want to move a car do they have someone go over and tilt the car a certain way no because telekinetic powers, you're able to lift it, move it with your mind, regardless of the freaking position. Uh, you know, Magneto, you know, he has, you know, he's able to move metal, crush it and all that. It doesn't have to be formed a certain way. Remember when he moved the freaking Golden Gate Bridge? He wasn't like, oh, tilt it a little bit to the left, you know, before he can rate. No, he just as is. Um, so... She she doesn't believe the sun is real or the sky is real or anything like that, but she believes she can move things with her mind. The next one is this one. So I have been trying to communicate telepathically with Danny, and um, I actually did the other day, so I'm going to attempt it again. I've got a little treat for her here, and so let's see if she... Good girl. She did everything I just said. I said, stay, okay, come, sit, and lay down. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. So, common sense. You're filming your dog. You've got a treat in your hand. And most dogs, at a certain point, you don't need to say anything. You can do sit down. And they will listen. So there's that. Or, you know, the dog sees a treat and they start going through all the motions that they know will get them that treat. You know, when you, when you train your dog or hell, I've shown, uh, I've shown Sam will sit on command 
He'll give his paw on command. You know, what do you do to train them? You give them treats. Why? Because it reinforces that positive action that they're doing. So when you're training a pup or a kitten or whatever, you know, you, they use a litter box, you give them a treat if it's a cat. You know, because you want to reinforce saying that's a good thing. You're doing the you're doing the right thing. For dogs, same thing. Um, you know, say sit. Now they don't under actually understand the word sit, but when you train a dog, you you kind of gently push them down, and as you're doing, you say sit, and you keep doing this over and over. And each time you do it, you give them, you give them a treat, and each time. Then they start, it gets programmed into their brain. Sit means this action or paw. When you say paw, you know, you pick up their paw. And before you know it, you don't have to do that anymore. You say paw and they'll, or they, you can just do this, you know, reach out your hand and they'll, like with Sam, cats are hard to, <laughs> but all I do is, and he reaches his little paw out. But no, uh. <laughs> Let's throw that stuff out. It's definitely tele, you know, telepathic powers with her dog. Again, this woman doesn't believe that the sun is real, but she thinks she can move things with her mind and that uh, she can tell, talk telepathically to her dog. Again, it, <laughs> I've said this so many times, it's so hard to tell what satire these days you look at something like the Babylon Bee and articles they, they've written five years ago. The most absurd freaking stuff. And somehow it becomes a reality. You know, say uh, Babylon Bee talking about, or The Onion talking about, oh, someone gets offended over a uh, thunderstorm or hurricane. And what do you know? Nowadays, people are mad at you know, saying that hurricanes are racist because sometimes they destroy prominently black areas. So that satire is now reality. So you have someone who, who, who thinks the sky is fake, but can telepathically talk to their dog. So, you know, it, it seems like it's legit for the most part because it's stretching back pretty far. Um... So is she just a crazy conspiracy theorist who happens to believe she's telekinetic? You know, she has telekinesis and all that. Or is she just a genius troll? Because again, nowadays, the lines are blurred. You know, you can't tell what's parody and satire these days unless someone comes out and tells you directly. Because sometimes things are just, you know... Again, look at all the times Babylon B has said something stupid, you know, a, a stupid article, and people were like, oh, that's unbelievable. But then it actually happens. Again, like I said, with uh, natural occurring events, you know, Babylon B or Onion or whoever would have said, oh, yeah, uh, lunar eclipse claimed to be racist. But nowadays, lunar eclipses are somehow now considered to be racist because, oh, some people in black areas can't see them. You know, it, it, it's just crazy. Um, or what was it? Math is racist. And yet there have been articles from Washington Post and outlets that say math is freaking racist. Something so stupid is become a reality. So, and I, I hate to throw out that whole, you know, with the, the racist ones, but those are the ones that come to my mind. Like the math is racist. You know, you think... Babylon B saying, oh, people, so-and-so say math is racist. And everyone's like, <laughs> that's stupid. That would never happen. But then it actually does happen. You know? And just for, you know, to show, racism in our curriculums isn't limited to history. It's in math, too. So, yeah. But, um... Like I said, it's it's so hard to tell what is parody and not these days because, again, something like The Onion or Babylon B ages ago say something like, oh, people claim math is racist, but then we have the Washington freaking Post claiming that math is racist. 
So that it's a blurred line now. So I, I, I truly want to know, does this woman believe what she's saying or is she one of the greatest trolls? You know, if, if you can't differentiate between real and, you know, uh, reality and satire, they're doing a good job. Normally you can look at something and say, oh yeah, that's, that's fucking stupid. That's fake. But here it's like, uh, really? I mean, she has a lot of posts talking about the crazy stuff. So either she's just that dedicated to her craft or, you know, as in like trolling, or she truly believes this, believing that the sun isn't real, that somehow cloud formations aren't really possible and that they're UFOs and that, uh, but she can talk to her dog telepathically. Um, so the world is crazy. But yeah, I would love to show more, but knowing my luck, freaking YouTube will just, whoosh, nope, sorry, can't show that. So if you want to see them, you can go watch them. But, um, because obviously don't take my word for it. Go and watch your stuff yourself. So that way, you know, I'm not editing or cutting or whatever, uh, the content you can see it coming from her mouth, unedited. So, but, uh, yeah. People. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.